sense. So that gives you a nice sound as well. Here's the down version. So that's a pretty cool filter there um, as well. Here's a bass cry, baby. So that's a nice little filter as well. You know, um, you could play around with the settings there. But the different filters are going to give you different um, things out of it. So, like, even with that filter, run that with an octave and a bit crusher, the same octave and a bit crusher we were running with before. So even then, um, that's running the distortion instead of the bit crusher, you know? Um, that's a big muff emulation. But yeah, it's filters are amazing. Um, here's another one on here that's not an EQ. I'm doing all the ones I did EQ yesterday, guys. Check out the EQ video, check out the compressor video, all this stuff coming out. We doing videos every hour on the hour. Till we feel like we where we want to go. You feel me? Till we get what we trying to go on YouTube. We doing an hour every hour. We on them. Ah! But I appreciate y'all hanging out with us, you know? Last one. Last filter. Here we go. And this is just a regular analog filter. So this one is actually emulating this MXR one. It's not even close, but it's emulating it. Thank <laughs> you.
saying before oh yeah this one is you know you get a few more type it's see um last one i'm gonna show you guys is just a regular resonance filter um let's do let's go back delete deet deet and and change this to not that for two bits. Pedal, uh, pedal, um, and there's also on his B6, there's also a version of that Ottawa filter as a pedal, um, you know, pretty much controlled by the pedal, external foot switch, uh, foot pedal you can get. But this is my, actually the best filter on here, um, the pedal resonance filter. So you run that with some. Let me turn off the distortion. I'm controlling with my foot. And um so that's the, actually one of my favorite ones on there. You run that and some distortion into that. So those are the settings that were just on there. And of course you play with the frequency, it's gonna give you different results, resonance as well, add the dry in there. Um, now, you know, let's get back to the to the analog filters. Um, so on my pedal board that you can't see on the floor is a EHX bass balls and an EHX um, blurst. So they're both analog filters, but um, the bass balls is a very unique filter. That's why I had to have that one. Um, it's a twin filter. It used to be a really big pedal. Now it's a small pedal. About this, you know, it's a the size of a regular pedal now. But it used to be like this big. It used to be <laughs> like a big old thing. Like, but now it's um, it's a beautiful twin filter. 